Are you content with what you have? Sure I am, until I see something else I want. And somehow all those social media ads that pop up on my phone know exactly what I might need. Isn't that crazy how that works? The struggle is real. Our flesh is never satisfied, and in our culture, instant gratification is the idol of the day. With one click, I can buy now and have just about whatever I want at my door within 24 hours. Can we be content with what we have? Adam and Eve in the garden had everything they needed, but the lie of the enemy was, no, you don't, there is more. Wanting more or wanting what someone else has or what you don't have is nothing new. There is nothing new under the sun. King Solomon in all his wisdom recognized that. That's why in Exodus 20, 17, God commands, thou shalt not covet. Since the garden, we have wanted more. When we covet, when we lust, when we desire and long for what we do not have, our hearts go down a dark road seeking self-satisfaction that never fully satisfies. Moments of instant gratification only lead to a deeper desire for more. The root of it all comes back to the lies we believe. God isn't enough. I need more. The writer of Hebrews speaks to this. Hebrews 13:5. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Let your walk, your talk, and your life be free from wanting more or desiring what someone else has. The love of money is the root of all evil, we read in 1 Timothy 6.10. It's never the things, it's the desire and the love of all the things and never being satisfied. Freedom and fullness of life is found when we are content with what we have and when we trust that Jesus is enough. I am secure knowing Jesus will never leave me or forsake me. As I was thinking about that security, I began to think about my childhood. Growing up, we didn't have much, but you know what? I didn't know it. I was cared for, clothed, fed, and loved deeply. I lacked nothing that mattered. And how does Jesus want us to come to him? As a child, fully secure in who we are in him, trusting he is all we need. So how can we be content with what we have. First, don't love money. Money is great and God uses it through us to do amazing kingdom work. And it's okay to have it, just don't love it. Love God more. And no matter how much you have, give it all back to him. Second, trust Jesus to be enough. He said he will never leave you or forsake you. And he has never not fulfilled a promise. In Christ, you lack nothing. That's the truth. I can be content with what I have because the best thing I have is Jesus. I'm Lori Klein.